We're going to use exponents to denote powers of 10 and also explain patterns when multiplying and dividing. And in order to be able to explain how we get the exponents, we're going to use a place value chart. So I'm going to draw a place value chart. And in this place value chart, I'm going to divide it into six columns. Two, three, four, five, six. And along the top, I'll put in our place values. Um, we'll start actually on this one in with the tens place. We'll have tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and one million. And I'll use two rows. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start by talking about factors of 10. And so when I'm looking at 10, I can write 10 as 10 times 1. There's one factor of 10. 100, and we're going to um, write 100 only with factors of 10. So it's 10 times 10. There are two factors of 10 in 100. In 1,000, 10 times 10 times 10. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern, and that's what we would want our students to see, and is that there is a pattern. Um, there are three factors of 10 when we multiply by 1,000. There are three zeros in 1,000. We want the students to start seeing that there's this pattern that's forming. Um, 10,000. 10,000 is just 10 times 1,000, so I'm just going to, I started with 10 times 10 times 10, that was my 1,000, times another 10 to get 10,000. So students should be seeing that there is patterns. One, that every time we move to the left on our place value chart, we're multiplying by another 10. And also they should be noticing that if I look at, for example, let's look at 100, 10 times 10, there's two factors of 10, and there are two zeros in 100. I could go ahead and do 100,000 in a million, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave that, and we're going to move on to our uh, exponents. And so as we talk about exponents, let's first talk about what is an exponent. And so let me use an example that doesn't have um, 10 as a base. So I'm going to do 5 to the third power. When I take 5 to the third power, the 5 we call that the base. The base is the number that we're going to be multiplying. The exponent is the number that we raise, put up at the top, and so our three is our exponent. The exponent refers to the number of times we're gonna multiply our base. So five to the third power, or five cubed, that's just a special way of saying um, any number that is raised to the third power, is the same thing as saying here, I'll write it over here, five, to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5. It's my base multiplied the number of exponents, um, and 3 is our exponent, so multiply 3 times. So that's 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. When we're using exponents, we're doing repeated multiplication. So let's look at our place value chart. When we have 10, the base is 10, and we're only multiplying 110. 100, the base is 10, and we have two factors of 10. It's 10 times 10, so it's 10 to the second power, or 10 squared. Again, when we square something, we that's the same as saying 10 to the second power, another special um, case where we can call it something special. And 1,000 is 10 to the third power, it's 10 times 10 times 10, and you should be seeing a pattern. And that's what we would expect our students to see. We want them to be seeing a, pa a pattern. Every time we multiply by another 10, the exponent increases by one. Or another pattern hopefully they're seeing is that like for 10,000, I'm looking at the number of zeros in 10,000, one, two, three, four, I'm raising 10 to the fourth power. Now, I didn't write out the factors of 100,000, but if we follow the same pattern, there are one, one, two, three, four, five zeros in 100,000. We can write it 10 to the fifth power. A million would be 10 to the sixth power. Again, we want students to be seeing the patterns that are forming. Now, 
We also want them to be able to use this information. So we're going to try a few numbers. Let's go ahead and let's do 10 times 100. We want flexibility with numbers, so we want students to be able to take something like 10 times 100 and actually write it with exponents. So a student should recognize that that is 10 times 100 is 1,000, and that is 10 to the third power. Or 1 times 1 is 1, and there's 1, 2, 3 zeros. Um, we also want them to be able to multiply numbers such as, say, if we have 3 times 10 squared or 3 times 10 to the second power. We want them to know what that is. So they could rewrite that as 3 times 10 squared is 100. So 3 times 100 is 300. Hopefully, though, they'd also start to recognize that, oh, 10 squared, I'm going to have two zeros in my final product. 3 times 1 is 3, and two zeros makes it 300. Now that would also hold if I have some a number like 5 and 62 hundredths. If I'm going to multiply that now, let's do that by 10 to the third power. Well again, hopefully students will recognize that that is the same 10 to the third power is 1,000. So that's 5 and 62 hundredths times 1,000. And when we multiply that out, when we multiply by 1,000, all of those digits are shifting to the left. And essentially what happens then is it looks like our decimal is moving to the right, but the digits will shift to the left three places. So it, that looks like our decimal is moving to the right three places. So I have to put another zero at the end so it actually can shift three places. So our final product would be 5,620. Hopefully students start to recognize, oh, okay, look at that exponent. If it's a power of 10 and it's, ra it's 10 raised to the third power, I just have to shift my digits to the left three places. Um, how about, though, if we have, um, let's do a division problem. Let's have uh, 83 and 1 tenth and, oops, I'm sorry, I said we would do division, so let's um, divide that. Let's divide that by 10 squared. Now, when we multiply digits by a power of 10, our digits are moving to the left on the place value um, chart, depending upon the, no, how large that power of 10 is. Now, when we divide, those digits are moving to the right on the place value chart. So essentially, it looks like the, the decimal is moving to the left. So in this case, it's 10 squared. 10 squared is 100, but again, there's that two. So my digits are moving two places to the right. They're shifting two places to the right, or it looks like the decimal is moving two places to the left. And so we end up with 831 thousandths. I could try one more. How about if I have eight and one tenth, and this time let's divide it by um, 10 squared. Now, because it's division, the digits are shifting to the um, right on the place value chart. The decimal is shifting to the left. So I actually, to make it have two place values of shifting, because it's 10 squared, I have to put in a zero. And so I end up with 81 thousandths. It's important that students not are not only understand what exponents are, and, but they have to be able to use them and they have to be able to explain them when they're using them.